So once again, uh, we are in choppy financial uh, waters, which I've, not, I've actually been underreported um, in the in the press generally. And what's happened is that interest rates on government debt and general interest rates have just been soaring. So you'll have seen on if you've got a variable rate mortgage, you'll have definitely have seen um, interest rates go up. Base rates have gone up. The Americans have been increasing their interest, their base interest rate by three quarters of a percent every month. And uh, and the, at the longer end, throughout the world, um, interest rates on government debt have gone up, I mean, the UK from about half a percent to approaching 4%, which is a similar story in the States. And in Europe, even in Europe, where they had like negative a uh, half percent interest on 10 year debt uh, in Germany, they now got like approaching 2%. So it's big increases going through. Um, and what's happening is there's a big liquidity uh, crunch going on and at some stage that will start affecting uh, the markets even more perhaps if it continues and we can al already see the uh, stock markets declining although from very high level. So what do you do in choppy waters? Well the secret to doing well in choppy times financially is to make sure that your planning is done in advance. So to make sure that you're comfortable with the, the um, with the investments decisions that you've made, that you've got a spread and a risk um, that's appropriate to your needs, so that you're not taking um, risks that you feel uncomfortable with, because the financial markets are choppy and they do 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 uh, silly things. So so if you but if you've got a strategy in place and if you're happy with your strategy. The, the, there is a very simple thing that you need to do, and that is you need to just hold, hold, hold on to your uh, conviction that you made the decisions correctly in the first place. Yeah, have a look, make sure that the world is as you envisaged it, and maybe make some, some minor changes, but not to panic, because panic is driven by a fear that you made the wrong decisions. But if you're really confident in your decisions, then you don't need to panic. And you know, um, the sun will still go up in the sky in the morning, it will set in the evening, um, and uh, and we'll live and breathe and be fine. So so what to do in financial markets, make sure that you, uh, that you have the plan in place so you feel confident with your risks, and then just feel calm because there's no need to panic while the markets do. I'll do regular updates on tax and accounting issues so if you want to be kept up to date please like subscribe to the channel and you'll be very welcome. Thank you.